Hi, I'm Gregory Pope, founder of SpinalSurgeryMexico.com. We picked up David and his wife, O, from Canada that came here to have a cervical disc replacement with Dr. Simone, MD, FACS. We are now at the Corretero Hospital where he just met Dr. Simone and was admitted. And there'll be more to video to come. Thank you very much for watching. Great. Good morning, Dr. Simone. How are you? Fine, and you? This is David, your patient David, <laughs> and his wife, O. Now here we are in the OR with David Kokowski from Canada, which needed a cervical spine surgery. We did, we did an anterior approach to his C-spine. He had a problem with neck pain, shoulder and left arm. Although we saw in the images, MRI images, that he also had problems in the images in between C5 and C6, we decided that the problem was caused by C4, C5. So we did that space. We put a cervical prosthesis called Rotayo, which allows the patient to move his neck once he's out from surgery. Uh, without needing a collar. We always in the team use protection against x-rays using a collar and an apron made out of plumb. In those images, in those images we can see the location of C4-C5. They're getting ready in microscope in order to do the microdisectomy and in order to take a very good light and magnification in the operating site to protect the spinal cord and nerve roots. Once we have prepared the nest uh, for the prosthesis, very carefully we measure it and put the prosthesis uh, in place. You have the image of the prosthesis inside. And that was David's surgery. Today I'm with David, which I'm going to introduce to you in a second and let him tell you his story. David came here 10 days ago. He's eight days post-op, had a cervical disc replacement in his neck, and it was affordable for him to come here for spine surgery. And even though that Canada has no cost, they do have a real problem with a waiting time and David is an engineer with three children and a mortgage, and he didn't have time to wait, and we worked it out, and he was able to come to Mexico and have, a, have his surgery with Dr. Mario Simone, MD, FACS, fellow American College of Surgeons. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to David and let David tell you his story. Good morning. Good morning, yeah, David. Yeah, so uh, originally I contacted uh, Gregory, you're on the 10th of April, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. And we made uh, concessions to come down, uh, worked out cost and logistics, and I sent down MRIs and everything that I had uh, compiled ready for uh, Dr. Simone to take a look at. I've, uh, prior to that, it was about a year uh, that I've been through the medical system in Canada uh, through painstaking uh, different procedures, disc decompression, um, cortisone injections, targeted injections, you name it, I, I pretty much had it with, uh, with no, no real results. Uh, the frustration has mount, what had mounted at that point, I checked out about three different uh, overseas options to include uh, Germany, Thailand, uh, also the US, and then uh, came upon uh, Gregory's site. Decided to give him a call and uh, here I am. Uh, had my operation the 23rd of May, and uh, hopefully on the road to recovery. Today's the 31st, and the doctor yep. has been here and seen you and given you the okay to fly home. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to go home to your children and yes, sir. Try yeah. to get back to work and yeah. make the mortgage payment and the stuff that you wouldn't be able to do if you hadn't have come and got your surgery. Very much disturbed my quality of life. Yeah, with of my family, my work, everything. Yeah. Everything. And I'm looking forward to getting back to normal life. Perfect. That's you, great. You helped me with that. I thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Love what I do. Uh, you should. You're very good at it. Thank you very much. 
That's right. Like in Canada, the, uh, it was April 4th when I was at the uh, specialized clinic in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And they told me at that point that it would be 12 to 18 months uh, before I could even see a surgeon. And that's just a meeting, uh, just a consultation. Uh, based on that consultation, the results of that consultation, it could have uh, potentially taken a, an additional 18 months to book the surgery in Canada. Uh, I've been dealing with this, like I said, a year. Uh, an additional three years was not an option for me. That would uh, put us under uh, into bankruptcy and I haven't been able to work through this. So this, is, uh, this was my only option. And I'm sure there's a lot of other Canadians, uh, Albertans in the same uh, position as I am that I think can really benefit from this. It was a, it's been a great, uh, great trip so far. Surgery went uh, just perfect, I believe. No complications. Uh, the hospital was very comfortable. Dr. Simone has been and his team have been excellent, very professional. Uh, the stay at Casa Marino, beautiful. Um, right what the doctor ordered. Uh, this was a, a great, I like how it's, uh, how you have it set up, Gregory, as far as come in here and uh, start, your, start your recovery in a nice quiet atmosphere. You have everything available. Um, physical physio therapist, physical came therapist from the very first day that you yeah. arrived. And yeah, Claudio was on. excellent. Um, he's been working with me closely, and uh, has given me further uh, instructions on what you know to, that I can pass on to a Canadian therapist uh, to continue. And yeah, I'm I'm set up. This was, has been great. And you never felt alone from the time you arrived. I mean, we've always guided you through where yeah. there was always somebody with you. Casa Marino happens to be in the city of San Miguel de Allende, mm -hmm. which was voted number one destination to visit in 2017 by Travel and Leisure magazine. And I was able to take you out on Sunday, and it was about five days post-op that you were able to go out and, and without any pain and walk around and see the city. That's and, right, yeah. And uh, we have some photographs of that, and, and I think you enjoyed that day. And I did enjoy that. It was very nice to, you know, being in a hospital, I'm not a big fan of hospitals. Even though I wasn't in there very long, it was, you know, I'm, I'm sure nobody enjoys being in a hospital. So it was very nice to get out and, and stretch my legs and, and get to see your city. And uh, the, the culture here is incredible. The only regret I have is uh, we're not staying any longer to uh, further enjoy the city and, and, and get around. We didn't get around too much, but just be more or less just taking it easy as uh, for, you know, post-op and, and just ensuring that I'm giving myself the best chance at, uh, at recovery as possible. So I think I'll be back, though. Well, well we'd love to have you. But not just, for surgery. <laughs> no, but we would love to have you and just contact us and we'll try to facilitate something for you in the That future. would be greatly appreciated. But I want to thank you for your testimonial today. I want to and thank you too. to let the people know that how important this is for people that just can't simply wait. Yeah. And at one third of the cost of the U.S., it's a great, op uh, uh, great uh, opportunity for somebody that doesn't have to fly to Germany. I mean, who wants to go for 24 hours on a plane to go to Germany or yeah. Or even the same thing in the Pacific, when in North America you can come to Mexico and have spine surgery for one-third of the cost of what it would cost you in the United States. And, and to that I'd like to say, also Dr. Simone has the most advanced treatments available, I believe. Uh, I've done a lot of research. Uh, most of what I came up with uh, that is atypical in, in this uh, situation are, are uh, fusions. That was not an option for me either. Uh, looking at the research and the, that's that's in place, you know, typically four years later, you're back back in and getting an, an additional fusion done. With a disc replacement, I think gives me the best best option at, at uh, normal life for a longer period of time. And it so, gives you the normal mobility that you were born with instead of right. being frozen and have to turn to talk with somebody. That's right. Which you know. that's definitely not something that you wanted to have. Yeah. And I research Canada, and not a lot. I think there's a potentially a surgeon in Toronto that does this type of surgery. Again, it's it's not very common in Canada. Um, even in the U.S., it was a laser type surgery. Uh, they never mentioned any anything about a cervical disc replacement as an option for me, which I don't I don't really feel like that was the best option. 
I think the best option was here, with uh, speaking with Dr. Simone and working with him back and forth prior to coming down here. He was great. He explained everything very clearly, what he was going to do. There was no surprises. And I, lo I really appreciated his approach to surgery. You know, there was a uh, potential that I might, may have needed two uh, discs, re replacement discs. And Dr. Simone uh, reassured me that, you know, we're going to go in. He won't know until he sort of, he gets in there and looks. But he assured me that he would save the, the other disc if, if it was, uh, if it was uh, an option. And it, w it turned out it was. So I greatly appreciate that as well. You know, so um, anytime you can save your own Body parts, I think, is the uh, it's best. better than yes, so. anything else. So that was great. Well, once again, like I said, I want to thank you very much for your testimonial. We enjoyed having you, and we look forward to possibly having you come back in the future just for a visit and visit San Miguel and enjoy the city. That would be great. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, if we can help you or anyone that you know, you can contact me at Gregory Pope at SpinalSurgeryMexico.com or fill out our form on our web page and I'll be sure to get back to you right away. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you.